Welcome to the Cloud Migrator from Cloud Technology Solutions. Today we're going to be showing you how to migrate from hosted Exchange to Google Apps. Here we have a user's Exchange inbox with emails containing attachments, folders inside the inbox, as well as nested folders. We also have a fully populated calendar with appointments as well as reoccurring appointments. We have contacts and tasks. We also make use of public folders which will be migrated to a Google group with the Cloud Migrator. But before we can start our migration, we must prepare our Google Apps environment for the migration process. From the Google Apps admin console, select the security option and then the API reference. Make sure you've enabled API access. Once API access has been enabled, we can now configure the OAuth keys to allow us to migrate into Google Apps. Within the OAuth menu, make sure that you've enabled the consumer key generated an OAuth consumer secret and you've allowed for two-legged OAuth authentication. In order to migrate tasks and groups we must do a little bit more additional configuration. First go to cloud.google.com and enter your console. Now we can create a new project for the Cloud Migrator. these APIs from the Cloud Migrator, we need to create the appropriate key. Select Browser Key and then simply Create. You'll need this API key later when we go in to configure the Cloud Migrator. So let's go ahead and do that now. Load the Cloud Migrator and select the migration platforms. Select the platforms you're migrating from and then enter the configuration tab. From here we can configure the source platform. If your hosted environment supports auto discovery, simply go to the control panel and copy and paste the auto discovery URL. auto discovery is not supported, you can enter the direct exchange EWS URL. But you only need one of these in order for the cloud migrator to work successfully. Now simply enter the authentication details of your hosted environment. Good to go. As we're not 
quite sure which authentication method our hosting environment supports, we're going to choose Negotiate and allow the Cloud Migrator to do the hard work. And because we don't have administrative access to this hosted environment, we're going to use the user's credentials in order to gain access to their accounts. We're also going to migrate the public folders. And now to configure the Google side of the Cloud Migrator. Simply enter the domain name of the Google environments that you're migrating into, the admin credentials, Moving on to the API information we set up previously. So let's have a look at the Google Apps Admin Control Panel. Here we've got the OAuth Consumer Key, and the OAuth Consumer Secret. So need the API key from our Google development project. Once the source and destination platforms are configured, we should check that the connections are working correctly. Using the connection tester, we can check to make sure that all our configuration information has been entered correctly. And as you can see, we're good to go. We can leave most of the options at their defaults, but as this is a new system, we're going to want to create the users and the groups as part of the migration process. Within the Users tab, we can add the users that we want to migrate from our exchange system. Simply enter the name of the user inside the exchange system and the name we wish to create inside our Google Apps environment. Not forgetting to specify the user's exchange password so we can gain access to his account to perform the migration. If we'd have had admin access to this system, we could have obtained a user list by simply pressing Get Users, or alternatively, we can import a CSV with the user import. Next, we want to specify the public folders we wish to migrate from our Exchange environment. Enter the name of the public folder you wish to migrate, and the name of the Google group wish to migrate its contents to. Now we're ready to perform a migration. Select the progress tab and then the start button to start your migration process. The users and the public folders are all migrated simultaneously on the cloud migrator. emails, attachments, calendars, tasks, contacts and public folders are all migrated successfully. So let's look at our newly migrated and created user inside Google Apps. And as we can see, all the emails have been migrated successfully including the email attachments, folders, as well as the nested folders. The Cloud Migrator has also migrated all of our users' contacts, as well as their groups and the user's tasks. And if we look at our user's calendar, 
we'll see that the Cloud Migrator has migrated all of our users' appointments. For more information, Google Cloud Migrator.